Here's a question for you. How do you eat an elephant? Answer. No one should be eating elephants, you sicko. <laughs> yes, yes, I know it's a popular analogy about dealing with overwhelming challenges one bite at a time and all that. But animal cruelty isn't acceptable even metaphorically. So let's consider a less gory analogy, shall we? Question. How do you build a house? Answer. One brick at a time. Or better yet, my favorite. How do you go vegan? Answer. One meal at a time. <laughs> the point is, when there's a seemingly large project or big life-changing decision ahead of you, it's very natural to feel overwhelmed. In your mind, the monstrous project or your entire life hulks over you, flashing its fangs and flexing its muscles. Who could blame you for getting horrified into running away or being petrified into a screeching halt? But instead of trying to take it in as the whole, break it down into parts. One chunky brick at a time, one compassionate meal at a time. Doesn't that make it so much more doable? This seems like a very obvious solution. Like, uh, why am I even feeling the need to tell you about it? But you'd be surprised at how often we overlook simplifying things for ourselves in this way. It's ridiculous, really. In my line of work, three areas in which I see people getting overwhelmed are one, becoming vegan, two, running a conscious business and three, developing a spiritual well-being practice. Now let's look at the solutions for dealing with each of these situations. But before that, if you're liking this episode of the podcast, you're going to love my newsletter, The Feel Good Tribe. I send lots more tips there wrapped up in very entertaining stories. So go sign up. The link is in the show notes. You go to veganosaurus.com slash newsletter and sign up to The Feel Good Tribe. Now, let's continue. Question 1. Want to go vegan but feel like it's too big of a decision? With veganism, it's often a case of fear because the decision seems significantly life-changing, right? Most people see their whole lives ahead of them as a vegan without knowing exactly what it entails. And they get cold feet. Hey, we've all dealt with commitment issues at some points in our lives, right? <laughs> so I totally understand. The solution is pretty simple. You break the time down into parts. I have uh, many friends who say, I'll try this vegan thing for just one month and see how it goes. When they do that, it doesn't seem so scary to start anymore. And usually by the time they reach the end of that month, they see that it's so much easier to be vegan than they'd imagine and just stick to it. Second question. Does it seem like there's always too much to do with your conscious business? As far as running a conscious business goes, overwhelm usually comes from weak boundaries. There's too much happening all at once and when lumped together, it looks like a huge challenge. If you're a business owner, you know what I'm talking about. The solution for this isn't as straightforward as the vegan one, but it's very doable. Make wedges of the different areas of your business, then slice each wedge down to bite-sized tasks. Work on each one with complete focus, each of these tasks, because uh, multitasking is counterproductive. Don't even think about it. When you get each mini task done one at a time, 
you will surprise yourself with your steady peaceful progress third question feeling overwhelmed at the thought of developing a daily well-being routine spiritual well-being practices are all about baby steps and being in the present moment want to meditate daily how about journaling every morning perhaps you'd like to make a gratitude list or affirmation list each night before bed put the daily every morning every night aside you thought of it now just begin right now meditate for even 1 minute write just one paragraph say only a few words of gratitude and affirmation start now though commit to yourself that you'll do the same thing tomorrow too then the next day whenever you remember stop anything else you're doing and put in a few minutes towards your spiritual well being starting at a few minutes a day like this is all you need as you experience the benefits of the regular practice you'll naturally find a way to carve out more and more time for it those three examples were from my life because of the different kinds of people i work with but i'm sure you can see how the core ideas can be applied to pretty much anything anytime something feels like it's too much or too big apply it so to conclude want to handle anything big and life changing stop obsessing about the future don't think of what the status might be like next year next month tomorrow or even later today do these things one bring yourself fully into the present moment it takes off a lot of pressure to break the challenges down into smaller chunks three ask yourself what small thing can i do right now to move forward towards my larger goal and four do it surrender and then move on to the next baby step <laughs> Well I hope I've helped you simplify a lot of things in your life right now. And uh, yeah, if you would like to stay connected with me, if you'd like to get more stories, tips, guidance from me, then sign up for my free newsletter The Feel Good Tribe. Go to veganosaurus.com/newsletter. The link is in the show notes and uh, join up. Once you sign up, you're going to get a confirmation email. You have to hit confirm on that email. only then will you be subscribed all right i'll see you inside the tribe bye talk to you again next week